بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about uh, ultrasound of renal transplant kidney the first part oh, oh, I will deal with the uh, anatomical consideration and ultrasound technique and how to optimize the ultrasound machine. My learning objective to describe the characteristic features of renal transplantation complication. Second, to establish a radiological management for each and the treatment to the complication to review the application of the intervention radiology how to manage the renal transplant complication kidney transplantation is a surgical procedure established and every day more accomplished in our society Early recognition of major complication is critical to establish appropriate therapy in effective time. Ultrasonography associated with color doubler and pulse is the fundamental tool in recognition of these entities as well as in monitoring of the patient therapy. Advances Advances in imaging technique have played a great role in early detection and management of anatomical and functional abnormalities of the graft in the early stage as well as in late post-transplant period. Radiologists have a key in a key role in assessing renal transplant because it is important to establish an early diagnosis of complication since most are potentially treatable. Anatomy and technique the transplanted kidney is usually placed extra in the right iliac fossa. Since the right iliac vein runs a more superficial and horizontal course on this side of the pelvis, making the creation of the vascular anastomosis easier. Vascular anastomosis commonly made with the external iliac vessels. We have arterial anastomosis, venous anastomosis, and ureteral anastomosis. Arterial anastomosis can be used in either into side anastomosis to the external iliac artery or end to end to the internal iliac artery. In cases of uh, living uh, donors, only the main renal artery is, ob is obtained with the kidney and it is anastomosis as we said either to into side anastomosis to the external iliac artery or end to end to the internal iliac artery as we see in this image this is end to side anastomosis and this is end to end anastomosis Here you see the renal artery is uh, anastomosis with the external iliac artery into side anastomosis. Venous anastomosis are almost always placed into side anastomosis to the external iliac vein. In cases of multiple renal veins, usually the larger vein is anastomosed and the smaller veins are ligated. 
ultrasound technique once the transplant kidney is identified images are acquired in the transverse sagittal planes and renal size is correct recorded the adjacent soft tissue are scanned to identify any fluid collection we see here this is a transplanted kidney this is the renal sinus cortex will differentiation between cortex and uh, medulla after color and power doubler is applied to assess global flow and identify the renal pedicle spectral double analysis of the renal artery renal vein and iliac vessels and anastomosis initially carried out as we see here this is the normal renal artery spectral doubler with diastolic flow normally and here you see the monophasic renal vein and it is patent the big systolic and in diastolic velocities are recorded and the waveform are evaluated the intrarenal segmental and interlobar arteries are also evaluated with the spectral doubler analysis at the inferior and mid and superior aspects of the transplant here this is you see normal segmental wave it is a brisk wave and this is the the peak systolic velocity and here this is the peak diastolic velocity and here you see the resistive index is normal and it is between 0.6 and 2 0.75 technique optimization this is the for the radiographers to adjust several scanning parameters and insulating suitable region of interest that include the entire renal transplant FC lateral iliac vessels and ensure surrounding tissue. The grayscale evaluation is optimized with using higher frequency bulb like 7 megahertz. Sometimes we can use the harmonic and compound imaging to maximize tissue contrast in selecting select situation. A key component of Doppler of examination is the degree of pressure applied by the bulb. It should be gentle pressure to displace the intervening bowel and fat. If the pressure is too much, it will impede diastolic flow and forcibly increase the resistive index, thereby leading to potential. Uh, our interpretation. Here we see the the double flow and bare fusion of the transplanted kidney. An important and improbably improbably low initial double gain will result in aberrant hypobare fusion and may result in difficulty in identifying the interbarenchymal vessels for spectral double evaluation. Here, this is a summarize for the abnormal renal, summarize of the abnormal renal transplant ultrasound findings. Here is a summary of the ultrasound parameter for renal transplant double evaluation. For the grayscale, it should be 7. Low frequency may obscure parenchymal detail. Transducer pressure should be minimal. As we said, it will 
if it is too much, it will compromise the diastolic flow. Doppler gain should be the highest. If it is low, it will go result in hypoperfusion. Doppler filter should be the lowest to maximize the detection of slow flow. And pulse repetition frequency should be the lowest to increase the slow to adjust velocity scale in aliasing. Thank you very much for listening. Hoping to see you soon.